What's going on everybody? It's your boy Sunlight Sensei here to educate on everything anime because y'all know I love me some anime. And guys, the long-awaited anime is back. My Hero Season 4 just dropped the first episode. And um, I got to do my review, man. You know what I'm saying? There were some things I liked and some things I didn't like, man. But uh, overall, you know what I'm saying? I'll give you my take on it and what I give it as far as a grade for the first episode. So we got a lot to talk about, guys. So let the class begin. So the first thing I want to get into is the opening intro. And I like that they changed up, you know, basically the part where they talk about 80% of the world has quirks and all that stuff like that. I like how they changed that up. That was a nice touch. The opening intro, obviously, the music was fire. I love the opening intro. It did well. Obviously, the opening music was on the trailer for the se uh, season four. So that's to be expected. Obviously, they're usually, their music's usually fire. I'm just going to be honest. Usually, the opening intro is top, you know what I'm saying, as far as anime goes. So I was expecting that. The outro also was pretty good. So I'm, I'm, I was feeling that. I was feeling that. I expected it to be good. Um, but uh, you've seen some some characters. You've seen some some people, and and that's usually why I only watch the first on the opening intro and like the first time I watch the show because I don't want to keep on seeing these characters and start you know placing people. I watch it the first time. You know what I'm saying? I, I start a new season and then I don't watch it again unless the music's really fire. And I'll be like, okay, let me keep on watching it. But um, I try not to pay too much attention because. It's low key spoilers. You know, it's basically showing what's gonna happen later on in the season, so I don't like that. But um, I try to watch it once. I'm probably gonna watch this one more because, like I said, I like the music. But overall, like I'm probably not gonna pay too much attention to the opening intro because, again, I don't want to be spoiled. I, you know, I already know. You know, saying certain characters are gonna be in this season. I already know. You know, saying some of the things I've been hearing. I've been trying to stay away from all spoilers, especially on Instagram and things of that nature. So. The guys who watch anime and read manga in the comment section, please do not spoil it for us. But um, yeah, man, I like the opening intro. The music was great, and um, I it's to be expected. Now, obviously, we all knew that the first episode was gonna be a review episode. They always do that, basically, to catch everybody up and get them to remember what happened in season three. Mind you, they would not need that episode if they had a continuous series. But you know, I'm not gonna get into my whole continuous thing. But um, definitely, you know what I'm saying. I like the way they did this review episode. Most review episodes, it's just basically a review. It's kind of boring. I feel like it's a waste of an episode because, you know, me personally, I, I watched this third season before I watched the fourth season. I usually catch up you know, on the whole anime, depending on how long the anime is, before the season comes out, so I can just have it fresh in my mind. But I understand that people don't do that and they need a review episode. But I like the way they did this one. This one was interesting. It was captivating. I liked it. Uh, Tanado uh, Takuda, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, they made him, they brought in a journalist to interview the, uh, you know, students of Class 1A, and um, he picked up on what All Might said, which is it's next, you know, your turn is next, whatever, is next is your turn. And um, I like the whole story. I like that, you know what I'm saying, they involved him in, the, you know what I'm saying, the initial incident, which made Deku basically a, a, a fan of All Might so when they uh, saved all those people from that construction, all those construction site. Or plant whatever and um, they fit him in by saying that his dad was saved by All Might it was a really nice touch mind you they always they still showed you all the highlights of you know the past and what you know each character's quirk was and you know all that so they basically reviewed the whole episode or the whole show or whatever but it, and they showed highlights of all the battles and everything that happened but they also had a unique story that go along with it you know what I'm saying obviously in uh, Takuda you know what I'm saying because it's, it was, you know, you could have just did it anyway where they could just be like somebody talking and showing, you know, highlights. But I like that they incorporated a story. I like that they incorporated another character. And mind you, his quirk was perfect for the situation too. You know what I'm saying? He's a freelance journalist and he create cameras, lenses, come out of his body and print out pictures. It was just a really smart way to do a review episode that made it seem still interesting while still catching you up with what happened in the past. And, um... I liked it, man. I think this is a very good review episode. I see some other ones, like I said, where it's just people, you know what I'm saying, talking about events and incidents, and then you'll see a highlight or whatever. You know what I'm saying? They throwing everything. They even throwing parts about the movie, which, you know, I don't know if you guys have seen the My Hero Academia movie, but they even throwing parts about that and how, you know, all my guys' career started and all that stuff. So it was very well done. 
it you know made sense you know what I'm saying because obviously he's a journalist he's looking for All Might's next successor and um it just it made sense and it was actually interesting I I felt myself like being interested in talking the story not just them reviewing the episode so I really like how they did it and um to be honest with you man I'm a bit surprised I thought it was gonna be you know them just like always you know somebody talking and you know or them talking about events that happen and they show highlights of it whereas this one it seemed more captivating because it's around Takuda and his story and how his dad was involved and everything like that so thumbs up to my hero on that because that was a pretty good way to do a review episode to be honest with you but here's the one thing I didn't like about it um for me I felt like he figured it out way too quickly it made I mean, he was only there for what eight hours, and he was able to decipher who and what and why. It was just, and it made sense. Don't get me wrong; like you know, obviously, he's a journalist, so he's used to this. But I mean, I just kind of felt like he figured it out way too quickly. I mean, at least be there for like a week. He figured it out in a, like a day, literally a day. It was like, come on, you know what I'm saying? They can't make it that easy. And also. Midoriya, bro, you gotta learn to lie. I'm sorry, I know you're a hero, I know you're a good guy, but you gotta learn to lie, bro. At some point in time, like, you can't just admit to this. You know what I'm saying? This is supposed to be a secret, and you're very bad at keeping secrets. So, to me, it's like, he gotta learn to lie. I mean, even if it's a bad lie, at least try. I mean, he didn't even try to lie. He just was like, ah, you kinda, you know what I'm saying? So, you kinda just gave it away. Um, I didn't necessarily like that part, and I didn't like how quickly talk about figured it out but you know you know it's just a recap episode and it's nothing that they're gonna prolong so I do understand it but it's just kind of for like you know maybe they should have did it I wish they did it more like you know he was there for like two three days and then, you know had to figure it out in that time span instead of just a one day thing where you know he gets in and then eight hours you figure out who's the person and why is this and all that stuff and he yeah, I mean it just I feel like they figured it out too quickly um also as far as you know, the preview episode, they didn't really show much. I mean, uh, usually they show you, you know, something that will kind of get you interested in the next episode. I'm already interested, obviously, because you know, I like my hero. But the preview, I expected a little bit more. I mean, you know, a little bit more cap. I mean, I guess it's not gonna, the season's not gonna just jump off on a, you know, a very exciting moment. But I mean. I thought I was going to see a little bit more, but it did show some things that were interesting, obviously, you know, my, uh, All Might and Deku talking with uh, Togata and stuff like that. So, there's things to definitely, you know what I'm saying, take away from the preview episode. It wasn't a bad, you know, preview, like, minute, but I just felt like they were going to show a little bit more to captivate me to watch the next episode. That's just, those are two things that I was like, eh, not too great. But, overall, you know, I ain't too mad at, you know what I'm saying, him figuring out in eight hours, to be honest with you. Overall, I gotta give the episode a B. I think it was pretty good. It was an interesting way to do a review video. Both the opening and outro were fire. I give it that. But um, I just didn't like how quickly he figured it out. I kind of felt like, you know, he got you gotta make it a little bit harder for this guy. I mean, come on, bro. Eight hours? Eight hours is like way too quick to figure out a secret. Especially a major secret like that. It wasn't like it was something small. Like, I, they been keeping this secret for a certain period of time. Now, mind you, yeah, he didn't find out, you know what I'm saying, the extent of, you know, All Might giving his powers away and all that stuff. We obviously didn't figure that out. But, you know, he did figure out who the successor was pretty quickly. So, that was kind of, you know, eh, whatever. And um, the preview, I thought, was kind of lacking. But, overall, I'll give it a beat just because the originality on how to do a review video, it was pretty good. I, most, I think other animators should definitely try something like this where when they are reviewing, make it interesting for the viewers so it can actually feel like an episode and not just you reviewing. I think my hero did a good job on that, so you know it is. Class is dismissed. And um, definitely, guys, like, share, and subscribe. And share some cool things like Facebook and Reddit and Instagram and Roma.com and Twitter and wherever else. And guys, get in the comment section, man. Let me know what you thought about the review episode. Definitely put that in the comment section below because I thought it was pretty well done. I mean, overall, I was pleased. So, can't be mad at that. Um, check out the uh, Spreadshirt account and the Patreon page. Both those links are in the description below. Check out, you know what I'm saying, my other YouTube channel, Al Camera TV. You know what I'm saying, I do Panther videos and all kinds of other stuff, poetry, definitely a lot of stuff that you guys will be interested in. Also, check out my dog on our Steam channel. Very funny dude, very talented. We do a podcast over there. And we talk about anime sometimes, so definitely check that out. 
and um, share this with all your anime friends. You might have anime. Share with my hero fans. I already know what it is, man. Thank you for tuning in.